I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm in the finishing stages of the bathroom. I have almost all the fittings and parts and pieces hung up, but I do need to sand down a bit of the door trim and to put up the last finishing little bit of molding around the door. But before I can do that, I have to sand it. I should have done this early on when I was doing the plaster and making all the mess already, but I kept trying to get something so that it would look like I was making some progress, and sanding down the door trim just didn't seem to be it. So, today I'm going to be sanding down the door trim. But first, before I do that, I've got to seal off the room and make it so that I don't have dust going through the whole rest of the house. I've already moved all the things out of the bathroom which were portable, and I'm probably going to have to wipe down all the equipment and everything in there. But this paint dust really, it can be pervasive. The theory at this point is, there's an exhaust fan in the bathroom. If I use the exhaust fan in the bathroom to create a negative pressure in the bathroom, and I close off any access for air to that room, then everything should want to stay in the bathroom. Be easier to have it be in that small confined area. I'm hoping by placing this drop cloth across the only opening, I will be able to constrict the airflow so that it doesn't exchange. I'm going to treat this kind of like an asbestos infestation. Establishing a clean room. myself an access so as much as I don't want to have an opening in this I need to leave one. Fortunately for you you get to come along for the ride and you won't get any dust in your lungs. Now we're going to see what happens when I turn the fan on. Well, not a whole lot of vacuum on it, but all it needs is to be a negative pressure. Oh yeah, we're making a nice belly in that drop cloth. I think this is going to work, guys. Yep, I think it's going to work just fine. Now, there's air that can leak underneath these doors. And that's okay. If it gets into the hallway, I don't care. I can always wipe down the floors in here. And this part of the house is pretty much featureless except for the door, and the door comes down and gets painted anyways. So any dust that it generates should stay captured. That's, that's the whole goal. Capture all the dust and keep it inside this controlled area. Make sure I've got a good seal. Now you're not going to be able to hear much other than the sander, but it's okay, I won't be talking a whole lot.
I think my sandpaper is loaded up. So I'm going to go down and get a new batch of sandpaper. This is 50 grit sandpaper, which shouldn't load up as fast, but I'll have to be careful that I don't cut grooves in the surface with it. Yes, you most certainly do not want to stay in one spot with this grip. It will cut a hole quicker than you can think. I don't think that's loaded, but I'm going to try a fresh piece just to see. Well, that's interesting. We developed more of a draft. I wonder if the wind changed. There's a fine layer of dust on everything in here, including the camera lens. But I'm using the little camera, so it is a lot less costly to fix or replace if I need to, but I don't think I'll need to. But I've got a lot of dust on the seats and all the various fixtures and things, so I'm going to have to come in here with a vacuum cleaner and clean all that up. But we did a fine job on sanding down the trim. Got all of it all the way down to the floor. Whoops, missed a spot right there. I'm going to have to come back and get that. That's why you do these inspections before you leave the job. That's got it. Now we're all clean and clear. Ready to do a wipe down, but I'm going to dry off and cool off a little bit first. I'm kind of sweating. And my glasses are getting steamed up. Well, had to take the goggles off. It got really warm in here. Pulling all the heat in from the rest of the house. Right up past the furnace. Because that's the only place you can get air in. That is a major amount of dusty. But the containment system worked really well. There's no dust on anything out here. It's all clean and clear. Last time after I got done... Sanding the plasterboard I had dust everywhere. Yeah, I don't even have any dust on my filters. That's working. Well, I got the sanding part done. Dust collection system worked just fine. Now I have to uh, cool off, dry off, get cleaned up a little bit. And then it's time to run the vacuum cleaner in there. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.